Hello everybody, I am Beth Graham with Grambo Creative and today I wanted to offer a website tip on, on your WordPress website. I am writing a blog article for my own website. It's called The Six Digital Marketing Tips for Today's Farmer. I plan to schedule this and have it come out January 10th of 2016. And the tip that I wanted to give you today is uh, how to create a graphic to go along with your um, your blog post that you're planning on making because every blog post should have some type of graphic associated with it and I used Canva and even though I'm a, a designer and I can design graphics I too like to find quick simple ways of finding things that are already beautifully laid out and um, will work with my brand or the way that I want to speak but I uh, can also put uh, what I want on here and just use these things as a guide. But I highly re recommend using Canva. So today I'm going to create the featured image that goes with my blog article. Um, I took pictures at a farm um, last year and, and it's my favorite farm that I like to go to. But since I have pictures of my own to use, it kind of makes it a little bit easier for me to customize but you can always use the images that come in-house with Canva. And I'm simply just dragging and dropping and creating uh, the post over here. And uh, that makes it real easy. And then uh, I'm going to add the text to it. It's, you just click on it and it comes up. I've already got my title saved in here. I'm going to change the font to be something else that I like a little bit better and um, it doesn't need to be that big obviously and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger I don't want it to come over in this area grab it and drag it and put it up now, I don't particularly like the black on here so I'm going to change it to um, let's see yellow I don't really want it to stand out. Oh, no, that's awful. Let's go white, maybe? Yeah, if we go white, I can take this picture, take it out, and go back. I've got to put it back in because that shouldn't have happened. I'm messing that up. All right, back in. Now it's on the back. But I can click this picture, and I'm meant to click this down arrow here, and it says transparency. And I can make this not so dark so that any language that I put here, text, would look better. Oh, I like that better. And then um, I'm going to put the shape. On here see all these are free this all says free 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 these are you to be used at your um, expenditure without being charged anything extra and um, you don't have to worry about um, being charged for that now you do get charged for being able to save anything in this platform um, well not anything some of them are free some of them are not it just depends on what you put in the image so I have this now lined up uh, if I want to change out the size of the Sun I just gotta make sure I click that graphic and I can make it bigger kind of finicky. I'll move this out of the way and then I can move this all the way around I wherever I want. And then I can drag this over here. Perfect! So that's going to be my featured image for this blog article. Super easy, right? I'm going to click download and I'm going to want the images. It's going to create it. And it looks like it's going to do it for free, possibly. Yes. Yay, free. 
Um, it says here, Canva's premium elements, they're just $1. So you're not going to spend as much as you would to, say, hire me to design something. Now, if I design something custom, I'm not going to come to Canva and design it for you for my hourly rate. It's going to be completely custom to you. Um, so we've got our image downloaded. You can see it over here. I'm going to click right here. You can see it over here. That's where it came. All right. So I'm going to close that. And then I'm going to go back to my blog article. And I'm going to click Featured Image over here. Now this featured image I'm going to have to upload from my downloads. Uh, downloads. And it was called Digital Marketing. D. C. Digital Marketing. All right. There it is. And open. It's going to upload. And now, something that adds to the text of your document are all of these words over here for search engine purposes. So, these six digital marketing tips for today's farmer needs to be there. I don't want my caption to be viewed, but when you put this text on here, you want to put digital marketing, social media, marketing, barn, Farm, sun, sky, tips, marketing. These alt words are like keywords that anything that you would want to be found for or could be in this image, then that helps Google see what this picture is about and ranks this image in the image searches with uh, the, the article that you have and it links back. And um, this is a blog article, article on digital marketing tips for farmers. And that description also adds to the language. So if you had a shorter article and you were trying to hit the magic 300 to 1500 words, um, then you could fill up this description with the same words that you had in your article just to add the extra oomph of keywords that you wanted to be found for. And then I'm going to click Set Featured Image. And then you'll see it right there. Uh, I also created another art uh, picture earlier that was sized appropriately for a blog to be featured in a blog on Canva. Um, so I'm going to upload another file. It looks similar to this one. Um, but it's it's just long and slender, which makes it easier for it to be pinned um, if you were wanting to put it on Pinterest. So again, you have the title. And the, the words being in the title, too, this tips for farmers, digital marketing, all of those words are seen also by Google. So again, I'm going to put tips, marketing, marketing. Farm, farmers, barn, um, sky, digital marketing, social media marketing. And um, this is again a blog article for today's farmer about digital marketing and social media marketing. Now, of course, since it wasn't exactly the same, it looks different, but it still has the same words that I had in the other image, which will increase the visibility for this specific type of article and title. I'm not going to give it a caption because I don't want it to show on the, on the website. Um, I don't need it to link back anywhere because it's my article. And it's going to align in the center, and the large is going to be, I could have it at the full size. Um, it just means it po could possibly stretch over the edge of the article versus um, having it stretch, stay within the size of the article. So I'm going to keep it at a large size, and I'm going to say insert into the post. 
and it's going to put it right there at the very beginning. All right, so then I'm going to update my posts. And since it's scheduled, I don't have to worry about it going active anywhere. And that is how you add a picture and optimize it for SEO to your own blog article. If you ever have any questions or need help with anything at all, I highly recommend you just send me an email on my website. I would be happy to answer your questions or even do a tutorial on what you would like. Please subscribe to my channel and share with all your friends. Thanks and have a great day.